the distribute 3D circle and spiral eye expression is basically the same as the 2D circle and spiral, except that it is for 3D layers, which also means that we can basically distribute them along the z-axis or like giving the entire thing some depth in 3D space. And anyway, to get started, I highly recommend you to first watch the mini tutorial for the cycle and spiral 2D, because many of the parameters are the same and I'm not going to explain them in detail again. So anyway, let's get started. We have here a bunch of layers and I already renamed the first one first and the last one last. And this is what we need to tell the eye expression. So first layer is name first, last layer is last and let's keep it for the default with the rest yeah so angle is from 0 to 360 which means one full rotation yeah from first layer to last layer so one complete circle and the radius is currently 100 so let's select all layers and hit apply And now what you can see is maybe it's not exactly what you expected. So they are aligned on a circle, but actually the circle here has a size of 100, which is much, much smaller than the actual size of these layers. Yeah. So maybe we better give uh, this circle a radius of something like 4,000 or so. 4,000 and here also. And reapply. Oh, of course I have to select the properties to which I want to reapply. And now if we scroll out, we can see, say, see we have here a nice huge circle of these uh, quite big layers. So we need to somehow move our camera away from all these layers or move these layers here away. And what I do for this is I create a new solid and call this parent. Could also, actually, we rather choose a null for this. Layer, new, null object, call this parent and now we take all of these and uh, sorry here parent them to this parent yeah like this and now we can move this parent in 3d space after we made it a 3d layer so we can say something like move me 10,000 pixel backwards and now you can see slowly these elements here appearing yeah let's say 30,000 maybe Okay, so here we have our nice circle. And <coughs> all these parameters here, angle of the circle and uh, radius and so on is all the same. Yeah, if you want to have spirals instead of circles, you can say I want to have a different radius here for the second point. Yeah, all of this is exactly the same as for the 2D variant, therefore I'm not going to explain this into more detail. The only thing that we have now in addition is this Z offset and see what happens if we apply a Z offset to uh, such a layer. So, so say the last one we want to move in Z space even more backward by let's say 1000 pixels. Yeah. Again, I select here all the layers and apply this change. And now you can see that the during the spiral, so here, yeah, it's, it's, it's really a subtle dif dis difference, so you mainly see it when you view it from the side. Or uh, So continuously the layers move backwards now. Yeah. So let's make this much stronger. Let's say uh, we add here two more nulls, or yeah, maybe one more null is, uh, is enough. And apply it. Uh -huh. Now it gets already more visible. You can see the spiral goes to the back yeah and then let's even add more one more null to make it a really huge effect here yeah and now you can see that the spiral here basically disappears in 3d space yeah because we pu pushed the the last layer now that many pixels in that backwards we could also push the starting point forwards in the uh, in that space if we would like yeah, and we can of course adjust all these other parameters here. We could, for example, say we do not just want to have one rotation here, but we could say we want to have two rotations. Yeah, this means the endpoint should be two times three hundred sixty. Oops, two times 
360, two full rotations, which is 720. And if we apply this, apply, then you can see that now it makes two full turns in 3D space. Yeah. And now let's assume we want to animate our camera through this. Yeah. So in other words, we could, for example, yeah, animate the position of this parent going from here to, let's say, uh, zero. Yeah. In other words, here the camera is uh, coming closer over time. Yeah. It's approaching this one here. And now let's say we want to do this for a very long time. This means when we go here closer, here elements are disappearing from the screen. In other words, we do not need them anymore. Yeah. But at the end, we would love to add new layers. Yeah. Of course, you could just increase the number of layers you have in your composition, but that would make stuff uh, very slow. So therefore, what we rather want to do is to reuse the layers that disappear them and push them from the beginning of your spiral to the end. And this can be done with, you maybe uh, already guessed it, if you uh, have uh, listened to other tutorials already, with this layer offset thing here. Yeah? If I say, for example, your layer offset equals to 5, this would mean take the first 5 elements from the spiral and push it from the beginning to the end. We apply it to all of them. And let's see how these here are disappearing. And here at the end, some should be added. Yeah, you can see all these layers here, the first five disappeared. And at the end here, these layers have been added. So at the end, the spiral got longer, longer and here it got shorter. Yeah. And now you can link this here to some um, uh, slider control. So I can go, for example, here to the parent, select just the layer and no property, and click here. And now it asks me, should I create a new control? And you say yes. And now you have here an effect that says this offset. Yeah. We can say, for example, here at this point, we want to have an offset of zero. And here at the end, we want to have an offset of, yeah, we must count how many layers are gone already until then. But uh, Maybe let's first apply this change. So I select again here all the layers and hit apply. And now the five layers here at the beginning should appear again, right? Because um, our offset is now is now zero. Uh, we've set it here to zero. But now we want to animate it over time and say say we even want to move here further in the minus direction, let's say minus, I don't know, minus 10,000. Yeah, so this already moved a uh, significant uh, part away. And now we try here different offsets. We say, okay, let's put the first 10 layers uh, Let's first, the first 10 layers, you see the first 10 layers disappeared here, and here at the end they, they reappeared. Yeah, this was a bit much, maybe more like six. Then four layers are here, and four layers, uh, this was even too much. So I think eight would be perfect here, right? Eight means this one is gone. Yeah. So here's no additional layer, or to be safe, let's say seven. Then at this point, this layer is also still here. Yeah. And now you can see that if you uh, animate here over time, at each point in time, new layers appear here at the front or disappear here at the front if you go in this time direction. Yeah. So in other words, here you can see this is the first layer or this is the first layer, but there's no other one. And now we go through the spiral and always the elements from the beginning are taken away and are added to the end, which is quite nice because you can create the impression of infinite uh, um, spirals by just using the elements from the beginning again and again. Okay, this is this offset idea, very nice. And the other also quite nice idea is always this wiggle here, which is in particular useful to fade in elements over time. Yeah. So you can say, for example, we want here an amplitude of 10,000. We are here in a quite big scale. So 
amplitude of 10,000, which means every element should move away from its position by 10,000. And if we apply this, the layers are completely randomly distributed here in space. And now if you animate this from 10,000 to zero, it means they are first completely randomly distributed and then, bam, they move into their position of the spiral. Also in the demo video you've seen that the spiral seems to fold in 3D space. Yeah, it starts at one layer at le level and then it moves uh, out. And this was done by simply animating over time here the set offset. Yeah, here I have a fixed set offset set, which basically it extrudes the spiral in 3D space. And you can of course also animate this over time by linking this here to some slider control. And you can also animate this wiggle here in by uh, linking the amplitude to some slider control. Since I've shown this already at many of these other distribute quick tips, so watch the others and you see the details of this, I'm not going to repeat this here, but leave this uh, to you. One last thing that I want to show you is how to, dis or how to align these elements here in space. So let's again reset this wiggle here to zero and apply it again to all these layers. Apply. Okay, so now again they are placed on the spiral and they all now look uh, in the usual direction yeah, towards the screen here. And this is probably also what you want, but if you want to orient it in other ways, for example, if they should look at the center of this spiral, we could use a special uh, eye expression for this. So we go to the library and choose from layer placement, layer orientation, look at line 3D. We do not choose look at point 3D because they should not all look at a common point, but they should look at the center of this spiral, which is actually an entire line. Yeah, so each point looks at the closest point of this line. Um, so look at line 3D. Okay, and now we must specify two points of this line here. Yeah? So this line here is actually, or since these layers are all parented to this null, this null position is actually their point zero, zero, zero. Yeah? So we could say zero, zero, zero is one of the points and the other point, so the line goes in that direction. Yeah? This means something like zero, zero, one hundred, for example, is also on this straight line that goes through this point. Uh, so therefore, if we select these layers here and apply this eye expression to it, with these two points given at, as the line points, um, did I hit apply? Apply? No. Now we can see they are all oriented towards the center of uh, of this spiral. Yeah. 